Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In geometry, a shape is said to be an isohedral if it admits a tiling, but no such tiling is isohedral, tile transitive. That is, in any tiling by that shape, there are two tiles that are not equivalent under any symmetry of the tiling. A tiling by an anisohedral tile is referred to as an anisohedral tiling. Existence The first part of Hilbert's 18th problem asked whether there exists an anisohedral polyhedron in Euclidean 3 space. Grunbaum and Shepard suggest that Hilbert was assuming that no such tile existed in the plane. Reinhardt answered Hilbert's problem in 1928 by finding examples of such polyhedra and asserted that his proof that no such tiles exist in the plane would appear soon. However, Heesch then gave an example of an anisohedral tile in the plane in 1935. Convex tiles Reinhardt had previously considered the question of anisohedral convex polygons, showing that there were no anisohedral convex hexagons, but being unable to show there were no such convex pentagons while finding the five types of convex pentagon tiling the plane isohedrally. Kirshner gave three types of anisohedral convex. Pentagon in 1968. One of these tiles using only direct isometries without reflections or glide reflections. So answering a question of Heesch. Isohedral numbers, the problem of anisohedral tiling has been generalized by saying that the isohedral number of a tile is the lowest number orbits, equivalence classes, of tiles in any tiling of that tile under the action of the symmetry group of that tiling, and that a tile with isohedral number k is k-anisohedral. Berglund asked whether there exist k-anisohedral tiles for all k, giving examples for k less than or equal to 4, examples of two anisohedral and three anisohedral tiles being previously known, while the four anisohedral tile given was the first such published tile. Goodman Strauss considered this in the context of general. Questions about how complex the behavior of a given tile or set of tiles can be, noting a 10 anisohedral example of Myers. Grunbaum and Shepard had previously raised a slight variation on the same question. Sokoler showed in 2007 that arbitrarily high isohedral numbers can be achieved in two dimensions if the tile is disconnected or has colored edges with constraints on what colors can be adjacent, and in three dimensions with a connected tile without colors. Noting that in two dimensions for a connected tile without colors, the highest known isohedral number is 10. Joseph Myers has produced a collection of tiles with high isohedral numbers, particularly a polyhexagon with isohedral number 10, occurring in 20 orbits, under translation, and another with isohedral number 9, occurring in 36 orbits under translation.